Hey, Frederick. Nice to see you. Hello. Nice to see you. A very exciting show for you guys at Bitwig. I mean, as well as obviously Bitwig Studio. You now have entered the hardware market, which is a big, big leap for you guys. That's right. right. That's right. We're moving away from being a software-only company to being a software and hardware company, as you mentioned. And uh, we've just announced Bitwig, Bitwig Connect 412, which is, um, yeah, it's a class-compliant USB audio interface with uh, four inch, 12 outs, and a lot of different other things that I'll be showing you in the next couple of minutes. So maybe we'll just start with kind of the basic hardware tech specs. Uh, we have, as mentioned, four analog inputs and 12 analog outputs. I'm just gonna grab this real quick and we look at the backside. And here are the ins and outs to, to begin with. So input number one is a combined XLR and jack input. It can be a microphone or a line or an instrument level. Input two, um, line or instrument. You have six analog outputs here, uh, dedicated headphone output, MIDI in and out, and it's a USB-C connector, but USB 2 protocol, so we're backwards and forward compatible in that sense. Looking at the top side, you'll see the additional ins and outs here. So we have four analog outputs and two analog inputs, and they can be used for, for audio, but they can also be used for control so signals. So DC coupled? They're DC coupled. Both the outputs and the inputs are DC coupled. So they work really nicely with analog gear, such as this little desktop synthesizer we right. have. Or it's your unusual to do over. DC coupled inputs. That's correct. Outputs is yeah, usual. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of options for DC coupled um, outputs. But as far as I know, the uh, input part, that's where it's getting a little bit more special. So. That's a little bit more unique to have. So that. am I right, are these AKM uh, converters? Correct, yeah. yeah. All the ins and outs are using AKM converters. It's more that, I mean, it looks like there's monitor control and transport control and yeah, all that so stuff. Yeah, so that's kind of our claim is, is that it's more than an audio interface, and that's exactly right. So it's an audio interface, it's also a media interface, but it's also a controller. So you have the transport controls that can be used to control any DAW using the UCM protocol. It's also a monitor controller, so you have things like, you know, you can switch to mono to check your mix, you can dim the sound, and you can also switch to an alternate output, meaning that if you have two sets of monitors, you can quickly do your mix check by so just that hitting you the use button. the analog outputs at the back for that. That's right, right, yeah. So you can configure which outputs exactly, but typically that would be three, four out instead of one, two out. Oh, nice, and there's a great, a lovely big monitor controller there with uh, LEDs around. Is that just monitor control or does it do other stuff? So, first of all, we have all these different monitor, uh, excuse me, different mode buttons where you can choose whatever you control here. So now I'm controlling the input gain for one or two, or if I, you know, stereo I can, I can right. stereo link them and use them like that. Main and phones, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. And we also have things that make it a little bit more than just a typical door controller. We have, first of all, we have the scroll. So using this, we can actually navigate our timeline. And I'm going to press it again to zoom in and out. So it has these kind of additional uh, okay, gotcha, transport yeah. controls. And then, of course, what makes it unique to us is that we have the Bitwig mode as well. So Bit, a dedicated Bitwig button. Yeah, yeah. excellent. So hitting the, uh, the lovely Bitwig button gives me access to further control. So I'm right now I'm just hovering over a couple of different parameters in my project, and you can see the lettering corresponds to where that parameter is. And I can kind of grab that controller with a big dial. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it, it's not a unique feature, but it's unique to Bitwig, right? Yes, yes. So this and I should mention also the main dial is really smooth and very high quality component to work with, so it's very high resolution. So it's, ro it's a full rotary, isn't it? So, Yes, 360 degrees. And uh, I can lock a parameter by hitting the uh, Bitwig mode button again, and I, I can you know, move away with the mouse and do whatever I need to do, but I still control the parameter. And this right, is nice, no, that's useful. It's, the idea here is to just have a, something very quickly, always well, available. Really handy for a quick, maybe if you're doing a couple of part automation passes. And you can, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Neat. 
Um, so just maybe returning quickly to the um, the top in out part, the the mini jacks we have on top, and Bitwig Studio has been you know um, we've w been working on this kind of hardware integration part for some time, this combining the software and the hardware together, and I'm just going to show you what I mean by by how how this can be done real quickly. So in my little project here, I have loaded a drum beat and I also have loaded a, a note clip um, with a few notes running into our hardware CV instrument device. And here I have the option to set my pitch CV output, um, you know, just choose like a physical output here from uh, my chooser. And this is now, of course, output 9 from my Bitwig Connect. So that would be the pitch output. So let's hook that up. And you can already see it, there's yeah, a LED here it. showing me something is coming out. So we go into the oscillator one here. The gate output is output number 10. And let's use that to trigger the gate and the synthesizer. And of course, we need sound back. So I'm just going to patch this up into input number three. And this is now set up for me. And I can just launch these clips. So this is just a very simple patch to demonstrate how you know quick and fun it is to trigger things in the analog hardware domain uh, using the software that we've And provided. of course, if you didn't want to use up the, the gate and CV, you could do that over MIDI and add those extra control yeah. lanes. And, yeah, yeah okay. that's right, yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's the quick version quick of Bitwig right. Connect, yeah. I think I've touched, you know, all of the important, oops, excuse me, the important parts. And we um, announced it yesterday, actually. And we hope to have pre-orders pre open in the next couple of weeks. And we hope to release spring of 2025. So are you going to be doing a sort of bundled studio, Bitwig Studio with hardware and things like that, or is it? Yeah, that's definitely on the roadmap. So I should mention that when you buy Bitwig Connect, you also get a software package. You get Bitwig Studio Essentials with it, worth $99. And you get access to Bitwig Circle, which is our partner program where we bundle other software. Um, the retail price will be four ninety nine euro, five forty nine dollar. So just just to be clear, we've got yeah. uh, four C, uh, four CV outs, two CV ins. Yeah. Or four Correct. DC coupled, and then the rest right. is sort of audio designed for audio. So right. it's a mix and match. Yeah. Interesting. Wow! Oh, congratulations! I mean, it must have been must have been quite. I mean, it's a big deal to suddenly enter a new world of, uh, of it that is. stuff. It yeah. is. It is. It's it's full of interesting challenges. Let's put it that way. And it's yeah, it's designed by us and engineered by by Bitwig in Germany. Uh, and uh, I mean, we are super super happy with the reception so far, and we're uh, extremely uh, excited. I, I, I neglected out. to ask, but uh, what does it do? 96, 24 bit? What's the what's the, um, the yeah up to 192 kilohertz? Right. Okay. If, if you are so inclined, um, there are you know some some compromises there, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely um, pro grade <laughs> audio quality. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Frederick. It's yeah. been a pleasure. As always. <laughs>